So in the coming decades, as sea level continues to increase from global warming and it's increasing across the globe, the combination of sea level rise associated with global warming and then natural drivers of sea level variability, so the things causing sea level to go up and down just naturally in, in, in the ocean are going to combine to cause coastal flooding. And what we found is that this increase in coastal flooding is really going to be um, increased significantly in the coming decades, specifically in 2030 to 2040. We're going to see a new um, level of flooding that we're going to have to learn to live with, adapt to, and just address in order for us to go about our daily lives in these coastal communities. In the background, we have long-term sea level rise associated with global warming. It's causing sea level to increase everywhere. But when we look at the other factors causing sea level to change, we, we focused in on one in particular. So what we call the nodal cycle associated with um, basically the, the orientation, the relation of the moon relative to earth. And, and what happens is that there's this very long period signal, roughly 20 years. Um, and this uh, effect from the moon causes the tides to vary. So what we found is that this effect lines up with the underlying sea level rise and it will cause flooding specifically in that time period from 2030 to 2040. There's been a lot of uh, reaction to our study because I think it does change the perception a little bit of the impacts of sea level. Worsening in locations that are already feeling those effects, but starting in locations where they're not. So I think this is eye-opening for a lot of people. I think it's really critical information for planners, and I think there's a great amount of interest in trying to, to get this information from science and scientists into the hands of planners. <laughs>